brought to you by TELUS. Hi, I'm Mike Agarbo. And I'm Miriam Murtosh. Welcome to App TV. Well, we're all likely familiar with apps that can help you cook, write, bank, or shop, but there are also apps that can help you learn and give your brain a workout. <laughs> There are apps that can expose you to new information or test your knowledge and make you question what you thought you knew. And that's what our focus is on this time around as we take a look at apps that make you think. And we're going to start off with an app from a group of very serious thinkers, Mensa. Mensa is an organization of people gifted with high IQs, like me. Um, you mean like us. Yes, us. <laughs> The app may seem like a simple multiple choice test at first glance, but the range of topics like vocabulary, mathematics, and puzzle solving will put anyone through a rigorous mental workout. The training mode will give you an idea of the sort of questions you should prepare yourself for and how long you have to answer each one. Then head to test mode with 20, 40, or 60 questions. Once the test is completed, you get your results. If you don't understand why your answer to a particular question was wrong, double tap it for an explanation. I may have double tapped uh, once or twice. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> when you start an episode with Mensa, where can you go next? Just about anywhere. We've got science apps, wiki apps, and a few brain-teasing, mind-twisting games all designed to make you think and all coming up. But we're going to start off with a look at a few alternative information engines. When you're searching for particular info, not all search engines are created equal. Take a look. The saying goes, seek and you shall find. But how long do you have to find what you're seeking? If you're like me, not very long. We want to explore some apps that take the pain out of searching and leave you with successful results. What if you could simply speak to your computer and have it find what you want? Or if you could show it a picture and search from the image rather than type your explanation? Well, then I tell you, you're probably using the Google search app. This is the app that brings search engine rules by ignoring the search bar. With the Google app, you can speak to search using voice recognition or use your camera to have Google use its image recognition technology for you. This is amazing on a futuristic Star Trek level. The app can also be used as a translator. Say you're in a foreign country and there are signs you can't read. Take pictures of them to find the place, street, or bathroom you're desperately looking for. Last up is Wolfram Alpha, and this is definitely not your standard search engine. What it does is gather information from the net for you in a numbers and graph sense. You ask a question, the app then looks around for some trusted data and presents it back to you via charts, graphs, and tables. It's kind of like having a researcher scout the internet for you. Search queries like the population of Chile over the last 25 years involves you doing math, looking up statistics in a few places, and compiling the info yourself. With Wolfram Alpha, it searches, thinks, and tells you. It's a calculator, music database, encyclopedia, stock tracker, and an all-round number cruncher. Now, the thing to know about this app, besides its crazy name, is that the answers you're looking for is hidden in the questions you ask. In other words, you need to make sure the questions you're asking will help you find the information you're looking for. For example, asking a question about rain might lead to finding about the Beatles song instead of precipitation falling from the sky. And that about wraps it up. These are just a few apps to help you find what you're looking for in a faster, more efficient way. Now if I can only find my sunglasses. There are many questions that have plagued humanity since the dawn of time. Questions like, why am I here? What is my purpose on this planet? And perhaps the most pertinent and pressing, why can't I get this stupid thing to work? These next two apps deal with that last question. I'm afraid you're on your own for the other ones. We're taking a look at how stuff works and how cast both free for the iPhone, Android, and iPod Touch. And let's start it off with a look at how stuff works, works. How Stuff Works, brought to you by the people at the Discovery Channel, provides over 30,000 easy to understand articles, podcasts, and videos all in one place and all dedicated to helping you get stuff to work. And even if you aren't trying to get something to work and still want to know about it, this app can help. What do you want to know? How will the end of the world work? Or how much chlorine do you need to put in your pool? It's likely there. The layout is easy to follow. The Home tab shows featured content, preferences, and a shuffle button. The Browse tab displays feature articles on a wide and varied array of subjects. 
There are facts and quotes readily available, and you simply tap the Get More Wisdom button to bring up more info. There are exclusive How Stuff Works shows with titles like Stuff Your Mom Never Told You and Stuff to Blow Your Mind. Unfortunately, you can't bookmark your favorites, but that's a small price to pay for this amount of accessible info. Next on our list, Howcast. Similar to How Stuff Works, but with a total focus on video, Howcast offers thousands upon thousands of videos on virtually any topic. The layout is easy to use with categories like Featured, Most Recent, Recommended, and Search. And another interesting thing about Howcast is that they take submissions for videos. This can lead to some pretty quirky stuff up there, which gives the app some, let's say, character. With real info and just some plain funny stuff, Howcast is a good app to learn from or to use just to kill time. Want to know how to get rid of a hangover or how to make a relationship fail? Or how to fix a shower? No matter what you're looking for, you'll likely find a video. And if you don't, then maybe you should make one. Apps can help you think and they can also help you learn. Today we're going inside the TELUS world of science to take a look at three apps that will not only help you learn, but they're also going to make you ponder and make you think. These are apps that make you go, hmm. Let's put Erex under the microscope first. It asks that age-old question, what would life be like to live as a marble? Well, no one's seriously going to ask you that question anytime soon, but it is still kind of fun when you think about it. And the premise does lead to a seriously fun physics puzzle game. Guide the marble through floating platforms, bridges, and a wide array of other obstacles as you make your way to the finish line in the shortest time possible. The ball is controlled by tilting the device back and forth. For precision movement, hold the bottom of the screen and the camera will lock behind the marble, making it easier to navigate tough spots. Each level gets harder and harder where you might have to crash through walls or build bridges over obstacles. It's a highly addictive hard lesson in physics that's actually pretty fun to play. From physics to physiology, we come to Pocket Body. Pocket Body is an app that gives you a guided tour of you. Explore things like muscles, ligaments, bones, and more. Learn the names and functions of the stuff that makes you work. Everything from the outer layer of the skin, right down to the bones, and of course, everything in between. Zoom in and out to find the pins located around the body. Tap the blue or red pins and the app will tell you the name of what you're looking at. Tap the blue ones twice and it will provide information about the body part, like what it does, how it relates to other areas of the body, and more. You can even make your own notes and add your own pins, which is why this app is popular among the med students. It's an app that gives a whole new meaning to the word introspective. And finally, we come to Tinkerbox. Are you an engineer or into engineering or simply just looking for a fun, intelligent game? Well, all of that criteria is met with Tinkerbox. Three levels are offered, training, the lab, and steel mill. Each level has multiple levels within and offers a variety of puzzles to challenge you. Tap the gearbox located along the bottom right corner of the screen and add all kinds of devices to complete the puzzle level. Pulleys, conveyor belts, gears, and chains. Assemble the pieces by placing them and rotating them until you have a complete design. As you move from level to level, the game gets more challenging as the puzzles get harder to solve. Aerox, Pocket Body, and Tinkerbox, three apps that'll blow your mind and maybe even expand it a little bit. Who says learning can't be fun? Well, maybe this guy. I'm really excited about this upcoming segment. We're going to discuss quickies. Um, no, Mike, not quickies, but quickie. It's a wiki app that we're going to spend some time exploring. Really? So no quickies? <laughs> Sorry, Mike, not for you. We'll be right back. Creepy. They are filled with info, just like us here at App TV. These are the apps that ask the questions you need answers to and fill your head with the info that you need to know. These are our hot five trivia apps. Starting it all off is Ben Stein. It's trivial. It's similar to his famous show where you can win Ben's money, only now you're trying to steal Ben's stuff. The trivia-based question and answer game starts out easy and gets progressively harder as you win more and more. The more points earned, the more items cheeks. The monkey co-host can steal from Stein for you. I've always wanted a monkey co-host. Wait a minute. 
Next up is picture trivia. Test your visual geographic skills and knowledge of exotic locales with over 600 photos to keep you guessing. Once the picture comes up, select an answer from the multiple choice list at the bottom of the screen. It's the next best thing to traveling. You may know the show, but do you know the app? It's Cash Cab. Get questions fired at you as the cab makes its way around New York. Miss three questions and you are tossed from the cab no matter where it happens to be at that time, which is not the ideal way to see the sights. Next, we've got Behind the Music from VH1. If you love music, that's one thing, but if you love music trivia, that is quite another. Strangely, for a music app, the visuals are what keep you focused here. The only thing that could improve this app is if they made you sing instead of just selecting your answers. And last is Six Degrees of Hollywood. With the classic old school Hollywood feel, this actor movie trivia game requires you to stretch your film knowledge in different ways. It's not only about knowing who was in what, but also who else was in it and what else they were in. You should know that using Kevin Bacon constantly is regarded as cheating. Smartphones really are amazing devices. They're uh, a mini computer in your hand. They can be everything from a GPS navigation device to a video camera to your social networking hub. And because of all the different functions they do, there's a lot to learn. That's why we're down here at the TELUS Learning Center today to learn more of the basics and some tips and tricks as well. Here with Ashley, thanks for helping us out today. Yeah, not a problem, Mike. So let's uh, talk about these one-on-one -on -one sessions. What do you guys cover? Uh, we customize the sessions one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it depends on what type of questions that the client has, so anything from answering the phone to how to add somebody into BlackBerry Messenger, how to create a contact, anything like that can be gone. So no matter what I wanted to learn, even if I just wanted to learn how to play games, yeah. you would teach me? Yeah, of course, yeah, we go over all of that stuff. So TELUS actually carries a, a large selection of smartphones. Which ones do you guys cover? Uh, we cover all of the smartphones that TELUS offers. Uh, we cover BlackBerry, Android, Windows phones, iPhones, we cover all of them. Do I have to come down to a store for the learning session? Uh, yeah, you can come down to the store. That's usually the best way to do it. Uh, a lot of people do learn hands-on, so it's nice to have somebody to show you where to go on the phone to kind of find what you're looking for and answer your questions. Uh, there is support online that you can get uh, through telusmobility.com slash learn, and you can actually get online video tutorials. So I want to do an example here. Uh, I'm just getting into BlackBerry right now. Believe okay. it or not, I've been using Android phones uh, and uh, Windows phones. So what would you teach me on how to use my new BlackBerry? Um, well, probably one of the most common things is actually how to add somebody into BlackBerry Messenger. So if you actually go ahead and open up your BlackBerry Messenger. Okay, yep touch up at your name up at the very top there, okay, where it says pin barcode and you hit show. So that'll bring oh. up your barcode that you have. That's me. That's you. And yeah. that's you, okay. And that's me. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so we can actually scan these barcodes. So I'm going to leave mine up here for you and okay. you're going to scan it and that's going to input us as contacts. Cool. Okay, so we're just going to go back here. Yeah. So where it says invite contact. Okay, click that. Yeah, perfect. So we're going to invite by scanning a pin ah, barcode. Okay, so that activates. Yeah, so that activates the camera on the back. Okay. can scan you. <laughs> Alright, so if you actually just hold the phone right over top of the barcode, yep. you don't have to press anything, oh. it'll just automatically do it for you. Do you know how much time that would save me? Because I would honestly fumble around for hours trying to figure that out because I never read the instruction manuals. This way it's a lot easier just doing the one-on-one. -on -one. Again, where can people find out more information about the one-on-ones? Uh, so they can actually go right online to telusmobility.com slash learn, or you can also stop into your Telus store uh, that does have a learning center and they can give you more information there well. As thanks well. a lot, Ashley. Yeah, definitely. A great uh, way to learn more about your smartphone with TELUS Learning Centers and one-on-one -on -one, uh, training sessions. You can't fit everything into your brain, and that's what wikis are for. Wikipedia revolutionized the way information is searched, accessed, and even to some extent created. So let's spend some time looking at wiki apps that will give you the kind of access you need no matter where you are. Kicking things off, let's take a look at Wikipanion. Wikipanion is a place to start your research, no matter what the topic. Going to the Wikipedia page on a smartphone or tablet browser can create quite a mess. Thankfully, Wikipanion gives you the same information, but with fast, clean access with a neat and simple layout. Subcategories of a wiki's entries are laid out in what feels like different pages of a virtual magazine. Next up, 
Quickie. Get your mind out of the gutter. Quickie is another version of Wikipedia, but it's best described as an incredibly entertaining way to present information. What do I mean? Quickie can narrate articles. Usain St. Leobold, OJ, CD, is a Jamaican sprinter and a three-time world and Olympic gold medalist. Quickie can let you screen videos and use your location to show you what's important in your area. Quickie is what it sounds like, quick and easy to use, more efficient and condensed with options to expand your search for more information. Just pick a topic and let Quickie do the work for you. Keep in mind that wiki information is from the masses and not always definitive stuff, but don't let that sway you from using the power of crowdsourced information in a variety of ways. Just don't try to memorize all this stuff. When we come back after the break, we'll explore a puzzle-solving game that takes place in outer space. Ooh. As if uh, puzzles here on Earth weren't hard enough. <laughs> Plus, we'll learn how things work with the power of a few good apps. Well, all that and a whole lot more when App TV continues. We'll see you after the break. You know that old saying, do one thing really well? It was actually made up by a guy who only made up sayings, but he did it really, really well. They may be super focused, but who says that's a bad thing? Not us. These are our hot five single-use reference apps. Let's get going with Stain 101. We all know that accidents happen, and Stain 101 is a good way to make them unhappen. Learn to remove stains from carpet, clothing, or upholstery. There are also safety tips for using chemical stain removers, just in case it's a serious problem and you need to call in the reinforcements. Pinouts is like a crash course in electronics. Learn how to wire RJ45, USB, Firewire, and other connectors through step-by-step -step instructions. You can reference information for the beginner, as well as the seasoned pro who is just looking for a reminder. Moving along, we come to Knot Guide. Not a guide to Don's acting career or even Knot's landing, this app is instead a guide to actual knot tying. 17 categories and 95 knots are at your fingertips. Search by name or just browse until you find what you're looking for. Next up, we've got the Grammar app. You can help polish up your English skills through grammar, word selection, and vocabulary work. The app is designed to provide questions focused on improving English test scores or just to make you talk more good. And last up is Learn the Lingo. Do you understand your kids? If you're a kid, do you understand other kids? Decode slang with a simple-to-use dictionary that also provides explanations as well as translations. Now, you've got the 411 so you can just be chilling. Know what I'm saying, dog? It's easy to transfer contacts from one BlackBerry device to another. First, you'll need to have BlackBerry desktop software installed on your computer. Just double-click on the icon to launch the program. Let's begin with your BlackBerry device that contains the contact list you need to import. The first thing you'll need to do is attach it to your computer via USB cable. Next, select the tab entitled Device. It's located in the upper left-hand corner of your desktop software's main menu. Now click on the tab labeled Backup. Three options are available for you to choose from. Full, Quick, and Custom. The information you save will be the same data that is imported to your new BlackBerry device, so make the choice that best fits your needs. When you're ready, click the backup button. This will signal BlackBerry desktop software to create a file containing the data that you wish to transfer. Safely disconnect your populated BlackBerry device from the computer and close the BlackBerry desktop software window. Now attach your new BlackBerry device to the computer via USB cable and then double click the icon for BlackBerry desktop software. In the upper left hand corner, you'll see a button labeled device. Click it and then select the restore option. A list of backup files will appear. Highlight the file that you created a few moments ago and then click the restore button. A window will appear notifying you that your data is about to be replaced. Click yes to proceed. Fantastic job, you've just learned how to transfer your contacts to your new BlackBerry device. Do you find life so easy that you need to complicate it with mind-bending puzzles? And do you enjoy incredible graphics to boot? If you answered yes to either of these two questions, then we got an app for you. It's Enigma 2 for the iPhone and iPad. This game is a real toughie, so you might want to sit down and take it on. It demands some serious problem-solving skills, and any previous experience solving those problems in outer space is a real bonus. The idea of the game is very simple, but the execution demands patience. 
we are met with the problem of dripping water that needs to be directed into a container and laser beams that need to be directed to a satellite dish of sorts. There are walls in the way of accomplishing these things, but luckily you have access to the tools that allow you to direct these things to their proper home. Oh, and it's all done in 3D. The boards start out very simple, but become more complex as you pass level after level. Time is a factor here and will directly affect your score, so the quicker you solve the puzzle, the higher the score you will get. There are 50 levels in all, and each comes with new challenges and releases objects that allow the puzzle to be solved. To move in 2D, you just drag your finger on the screen. To move in 3D, you just use two fingers. Tap to activate the objects featured at the bottom of the screen and then drag them into place to direct the liquid or laser. Double tap on it and it will disappear. Once you've activated the object, you can not only drag it into place, but rotate it in the 3D space. See what I mean about getting complex? We found this to be a unique and visually stunning game. It's a rare thing to combine the complex and unique with something so addictive. For the puzzle lovers, this is a game to try. For those who don't list patience among their attributes, it might be one to avoid, as the game can get seriously intense. In fact, this game may prove the statement, in space, no one can hear you scream, very, very wrong. Do you like riddles or questions that turn your brain into a pretzel? Then best riddles for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad is something you'll definitely want to check out. And checking it out is affordable because the app is free. As the name indicates, it's all about riddles, but it also has a social aspect. If you run into one that you want to share, simply text or email it to a friend through the app. And if using your lifeline still doesn't help you solve that maddening riddle, just tap the question mark for the answer to end the mental anguish. The riddles appear in random order and range from easy to ridiculously difficult. Hey Mike, I've got one for you. What's fun, informative, and out of time for this week? Hmm, you must be talking about us. I guess that about wraps it up. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on App TV. That really stunk. Hey, we'll, we'll see you come up with one. We'll see you next time. App TV is brought to you by TELUS.